Oh, good day to everybody. I've been asked to show how I make these little boys right here. So, since I have to make two of them for my New York model anyway, I'm going to make one now and show you how I'm doing it. Now, it's going to be a series of small short videos patched together. So, kind of forgive the jumpiness. First of all, you need to make a little football shape thing like this, as you can see, all right? Now, it's pretty rough and that's okay. Um, the string that you wrap around it is gonna smooth it out and it'll be okay. The size of this has to be roughly, oh, I'd say four to four and a half feet. So in scale, since this is 172nd, this is roughly five eighths of an inch long and a little short of a half an inch at its widest point around, along the center. Now the next thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to take and make a couple of, or actually four of these short little pieces of rope like this, right? Now they are gonna make this little piece that you see right here that comes down on either side in four places right here. Now you make four of those you put two of them together and seize them and they'll look like this when they're done, right? Now, try and show how that's done here right now. <clears throat> now we'll take and put the four lengths, the two lengths of the four together, fold it in half like this. I take my tweezers like this, I put it on the tweezers and pull it tight like that. And right about here, I put a drop of super glue right on that, right? I take a little bit of the celerite, spray that on there. I'll take another tweezers and I kind of squeeze it together a little bit, make sure she's, she's tight. Oh, and um, then kind of Move it around a little bit until it dries. Hopefully uh, it can stay together, but that's okay. I just give it a little squeeze here with my fingers and she should be fine. She should hold together. Right, see, just like this, right? Now I put it in the helping hands, like so. Right, see how we got that in there? Take a length of your seizing thread and um, you make your seize up here. You make a little half hitch, a little loop, pull it tight, <clears throat> and you wrap it around here well, five or six times. Like this, <clears throat> and then make another half hitch at the end. Now, you take you got your little loop like this, it's a little long, so I just take tweezers and pull it up till you've got the size of the loop at the end that you're looking for. And you can stick it in, stick your tweezers in here like this and work it around and you'll get your nice little loop like this. I'll take, I'll take a little bit of glue and tiny bit, just a little bit, right on, right on the knot, right up here. You don't want too much at this end. And I'll show you why later. And you now you have your kind of a little four tentacled octopus, if you will. She had two of those. 
going to have one on each end. Right. Well, I'm going to shut this video off and prepare to have uh, start looping the football, so to speak. And yeah, just give me time to prepare here. Yeah. Okay, I've got to start it started. I put a little bit of super glue on the tip of the football and got the end of the thread pressed down into the super glue and dried so it's not going to move. It's important to get that right there in the middle so the wind is even going around the, around the way. Well, the first couple of loops, kind of the trickiest. So I'll get a couple of them done here. And from there, I will get it started here. Now once I've got it started, just a little bit, I'll put just a tiny bit of super glue on one side. That'll hold that hold help hold that loop in place right there. Put it down. This doesn't always want to stay, but like I said, this is the hard part, so bear with me. Okay, stuffed. Now it's down and it's on. Now I can start the wind around the end. And as you see, kind of feed this through your, with your thumb like that. And you get it in the line going down, right? When you get to a certain point, you can kind of just We'll keep going. See how the wind is. Keep the coils tight. Right? Okay. From time to time, get so far, stop. Take your super glue. Put a little line of it on two sides. Like this. Okay. And just keep. Going around and around and around and around. And where she stops is about halfway, actually. And I'll show you why in a bit when I get that far. Let's keep this loop going. Because right now, as you're going around this loop, putting a loop around like this, you're pressing up against your thumb here. It's pressing up against the next loop in line. And gravity kind of works in your favor right now, believe it or not. Now I'm going to keep going until it gets about half, when it, about the halfway point. All right? When it gets to the halfway point, which is about there, I'm going to take and make another little line of super glue on here on both sides and then the loop has to end someplace so right about here put a drop of super glue on it as you see right there hold it in place boy uh, all right, there, that should do it there. Now I'll take my exacto knife and I'm gonna make the cut on it right there. Okay, right halfway. Now the reason you don't keep going and you're holding it like this and you keep going down the end, the loop, because of gravity, wants to fall off on you as you go down. So if you turn it around and repeat the process of this, on this side, start at the top, and wrap your way all the way around, just like you did on this side, to get to that point, and glue it down, cut it off, and then you'll have your whole, excuse me, a little bit of, you'll have your whole Thing tied like this, a little loop around like that, nice and neat. Okay, and well, this is in focus, it's it it hard to tell. Well, anyway, I'll come back when I have this finished 
and I'll show you how to start putting those little four chemical octopuses, so to speak, on here. So I'm ready. Put this little octopus, if you will, onto the ends. I've got it spread apart a little bit. Remember I told you earlier not to put too much super glue on that knot. Because if you do, the super glue leaks down into the threads here and you can't flatten it out like this. So don't get too much on there. You put a drill drop on the top here like this. And um, we'll see if it works here, but a little celery squirt real quick. It'll work fast. Put this right on the end and just hold it down there and allow the, the accelerant to dry the super glue now so if you see it's right there on the ends like that it's holding pretty much in place it's not falling off so now i can take and put these little loops down i'll start with this one and put a little a little super glue here along this line like that, see, and lay this there, press it down, should hold, look down on the end, here, make sure it's going, it's even across it, okay, it's opposite, just like this, you put your other piece of little pieces, of, I should say a little line, super glue, and run this down like that, press it down in place. Now you're going to put these other two at 90 degree angles, so you have four even sections on either side of that little uh, football. Put this down there like this. Little line super glue. Put this down. Press it in place. Do the same on the other side. Like that. Put this down. Press it in place. Right. So you know you have your four sections. And you leave these three hanging free like this, okay? Because they need to tie to another loop of rope that goes along the bottom top, bottom here. And on this end, where this one goes, these loops on this end will tie to a loop that goes around here. And I'll have to cut a little piece of rope here, like so. And at a point, probably a third of the way, is there one section that I'll want, call this one, two, and three. Put a little super glue right about there. All right, and take your piece of rope and put it right, right there. All right, press it in place. Like that with your fingernail. A little super glue to go to some of this. Look. No, tug it with a tug, make sure it's stays in place. Now you're going to take this rope and you're going to run it around there like this. So every place that this loop is going to cross one of these, put a tiny drop of super glue on it, pull it, pull it down in place like that. Move on to the next spot. Do it again. Like that. Okay. Try to keep it the same length so that's even. All the way around. Put it down there. And you go around to the next one. Do the same thing. Just have super glue. Press it in place. Go over to here where you started. 
Put a small drop of the super glue right there. All right. So you can press your thumbnail into it. Right there. You glue it down in a place. Right there. Should be dry enough. Take a snip it off. Now you have your top rope. This is going to be done on this end too, but not until you put the other octopus on this end. So for now, this is done. I'll do the same thing that I did here on the other side. And I'll come back when I have that done. Well, I thought I'd show you quick how this other one on the other end goes on. You can't go just any place. It has to go so one of the tentacles goes down right between two on the other side, just like you see here. So a little bit of super glue on it right there. Should hold that in place. Okay, now you're gonna go over to here, and this one will go down so that it goes into place like this, right between these two, and so on and so forth as you go around. Now I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the ties. I'm gonna tie off some of the octopuses on the one end. I don't have this loop on this end yet, because I'd like to do this end first so I can get these long ends out of the way. Well, it goes underneath the loop, so you, will, you have to get get it up a little bit. Well, I took super glue, and I reinforced this tip, so it's hard. Push it up underneath. It's not easy to do sometimes. Alright, so now you have this line up here. And the loop comes down like this. Just we take a little drop of super glue, put it right there, like that. Take the tweezers, bend it over, and press it in place. Just like, just like that. Right? Now to ensure that that does not come off there. Take another little bit of super glue and just put a tiny piece right there along the side. Right there like that. Now you do that. I already did, I looped this one already so you can see. I can give this one, pull it down like that, right? I'll do it again. And then when I come back after I've done this one, I've done the other two. I'll start putting the loop on the other end. And after I have that loop on on the other end, since you've already seen me do it, I'll come back. Get a little bit of super glue. And yeah, back soon. Now you can see I have the last loop on there and the last octopus legs wrapped around there. And I basically just now, I'll just snip this right here. I'll accept the paint black, the flat black paint. The paint kind of stimulates, or sim, simulates the tar that this would normally be coated in. And um, I hope that. Uh, Helps you guys out a little bit. Uh, I know this video is the best quality, but that's not my job. Uh, <laughs> bye, and I hope it helps again.